work on the chassis. So the owner of this amplifier has said he's not concerned about originality, um, but he wants it to be reliable and work for the next 15 years. So that statement guides us. Um, transformers are staying. I'm not touching those. But there's one thing that is going. When I was debugging this thing and making it running, I noticed that one of the preamp tube sockets need retentioning. Based on the length of time that the owner wants this to be reliable, I made the decision to replace all the preamp tube sockets. So they're coming out. We were going to add a bias control. And yes, it's possible to do this with a Princeton reverb, even though it has a, a bias wiggle uh, tremolo. I'm going to be using the Uncle Spot method, but I'm going to install one of these right there, a la Fender. The only thing that makes me a little cautious about this is that that's right where the date stamp is. Okay, let's pull these guys out. So my plan here is to clean up the rest of the stuff that needs to go. Um, and that is so I have clear access to the chassis when I'm drilling the hole for the bias potentiometer. I don't want any shavings that may appear to be caught somewhere on the scene, so I want to clear up as much as possible. So I'm going to take the switch has to be replaced anyway, so it's coming out. All of this wiring is coming out. I'm going to redo all of the feeder connections, and so all that wiring is going to come out. So it's time for these to be redone. So the wiring is done and the amplifier is complete. Now we just got to bring it up. So how I like to do this is I like to start with no tubes in the amplifier whatsoever, powered up using the dim bulb tester. Always have that thing in when you've got a new piece of equipment you're starting to bring up. And then I check, check all of the AC rails. So we check the heater supply, we check the, the heater for the rectifier tube, uh, we check the B plus uh, rails. Essentially we're just kind of check in the power transformer. After that's done, you install the rectifier tube and no other tubes. And you go and check all the DC voltages. So that's your bias voltage and that's your various B plus voltages. Make sure there's nothing wrong with those. Make sure the amp's not doing anything strange. And then you put the tubes in. Let's see what happens. All right, so what's before me right now is the amplifier. Ready to go, I have my voltmeter set up here. The rectifier tube is installed. The amp is switched on, but the dim bulb tester, which you probably can't see because it's just over to my right, is not turned on yet. So I'm gonna flip that on. I'm gonna start checking various voltages. So here we go. Okay, it's on. It's not uh, draining too much current, that's good. So now let's just check the bias voltage. Nice. Nice. 
And the B plus won't be up yet, but we'll have a look. Oh, it's coming up. So that's uh, 250 volts right there. Should reach 400 when we're all said and done. So I like to check the bias voltage wherever it's being used. So the screens, for example, right here, check those. Check those here too. Check the tube bias voltage. Good. Right here. Good. Then I go through and check all of the voltage rails. So every point where you're using high voltage, I check it. Now you notice I'm probing with one hand. Right now I actually have my left hand behind my back. Always do this. Always, always, always. When you have a live amp in front of you, always use just one hand. Because if you don't do that, if you have two hands in front of you and one of them is touching ground, for example, if you happen to touch something with this hand, you could arc through your heart and stop it. That's not good. So always, always, always probe with one hand. And a lot of guys put their left hand in their back pocket. I just have it in the small of my back right now. You always do that. All the preamp tubes are new old stock and they're kind of cool. There's some RCAs in here. There's a Telefunken. That's kind of neat. Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm using the actual speaker as a dummy load. Hopefully you don't have anything that totally causes a big screech or something. Connect that there. Government to sleep. Turn on the power. It's doing something. Let's just watch the B plus rail come up. Okay, it's coming. So that's uh, 280 volts. And it makes a sound. So at this point, I've checked all the power supply rails inside. I know it's making a sound. Uh, it's got some hum when you turn it up a little bit. Not a lot, but some. At this moment in time, it's tried to, time to test it. So this time, I'd like to see that all the functions of the amplifier are working correctly. So let's try the treble control. Tremolo. So this is cool. When you have the tremolo on, the bulbs on the dim bulb tester pulse with the pulse of the tremolo. Mm -hmm. 